हेलो फ्रेंड्स तो आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे एटीकेटी अप्रैल 2023 का एसपीएम का पेपर तो इसके क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव हम डिस्कस करेंगे जो यूनिट नंबर फाइव से रिलेटेड है अब इसका जो पहला क्वेश्चन है वो है हु आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पीपल अकॉर्डिंग टू बेलबिन नीडेड इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट अ बैलेंस टीम तो अकॉर्डिंग टू बेलबिन वी आर हैविंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ रोल्स तो पहला रोल है द कोऑर्डिनेटर मतलब द गुड एट चेयरिंग मीटिंग मीन्स द पर्सन हु इज एबल टू कोऑर्डिनेट विथ अदर्स एंड हु इज रेडी टू चेयर द मीटिंग देन द फर्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज द प्लान प्लान इज द आइडिया जनरेटर अ पर्सन हु इज कमिंग अप विद न्यू न्यू आइडियाज देन कम्स द मॉनिटर और इवेल्युएटर द पर्सन हु इज गुड एट इवेल्युएटिंग द आइडियाज देन कम्स द शेपर मीन्स द पर्सन हु इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग एफर्ट एफर्ट्स टू डायरेक्ट द टीम मेंबर्स देन कम्स द टीम वर्कर मीन्स द पीपल who are actually doing the work in the team they are the skilled employees who are working in the environment so these are some of the management team roles according to belbin but apart from that it also says that if suppose we are having the resource investigator means the person who is actually trying to find out different resources and it is able to include it in our project then that person is also having a lot of importance then comes the completer or the finisher finisher ka matlab hai ki the person who is getting concerned with getting the task completed from different people then comes the implementer implementer is the person who is a good team player and who is ready to take the less attractive task means it's ho sakta hai ki organization mein testing ka task ya documentation ka task isko pasand nahi hai so the implementer can take those less attractive task and the specialist Spe- specialist means the person who is good at some technical skills and or can ap- acquire knowledge and work on new technology नाउ दूसरे क्वेश्चन पे जाते हैं दूसरा क्वेश्चन है एक्सप्लेन चीफ प्रोग्रामर टीम एंड आल्सो स्टेट इट्स एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस तो चीफ प्रोग्रामर टीम क्या होता है यहाँ पे एक पर्सन होता है जो टीम लीडर होता है और उसके अंडर में टीम वर्क करती है तो दैट पर्सन इज कॉल्ड द चीफ प्रोग्रामर एंड द पर्सन आर कॉल्ड द टीम मेंबर्स एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग ऑफ टीम्स वी कॉल इट एज द चीफ प्रोग्रामर टीम तो इसके बहुत सारे एडवांटेजेस भी है और डिसएडवांटेजेस भी तो इसमें क्या है चीफ प्रोग्रामर के पास बहुत सारा काम आ जाएगा इसलिए उसको हेल्प करने के लिए देर आर डिफरेंट रोल्स एज वेल लाइक देर कैन बी अ को पायलट देर कैन बी एन एडिटर हु विल गेट द वर्क डन और डू द कोडिंग वर्क देर कैन बी अ प्रोग्राम क्लर्क हु राइट एंड मेंटेन द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन या फिर एमओ एम लिख सकता है देन देर कैन बी अ टेस्टर टेस्टर मीन्स अ पर्सन हु इज केपेबल ऑफ हेल्पिंग द चीफ प्रोग्रामर सो दिस काइंड ऑफ डायग्राम यू ऑल विल हैव टू डू यहाँ पे क्या है पहला जो टॉप पे है वो है चीफ प्रोग्रामर और इसके नीचे हमारे टीम मेंबर्स है अब इसका एडवांटेज क्या है इट लिमिट द नंबर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन पाथ दैट एंड स्टिल अलाउज द कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन द टीम मेंबर्स एंड इट इज एक्सपेंडेड ओवर टू मल्टीपल लेवल्स देन इट इज वेरी वेल suited for the development of hierarchical software product large software projects may have several levels and limitations are uh, there are many limitations as well like we as the information has to travel up to the levels it may get distorted this so, lower level ka information may not get reach correctly to the higher levels then the levels in the hierarchy often judges people socially and financially now most technical component programmer tend to be promoted to management position as ho sakte ki later on the team members may become managers and sometimes which may result in loss of good programmers and also bad managers then next is explain the quality attributes according to mccall's software quality model so as per the mccall's software quality model it was introduced in 1977 this model is incorporated in many 
attributes termed as software factors which influence software the model distinguishes between two levels of quality attribute first is the quality factor and then the quality criteria to so quality factor mein kya aata hai the higher level quality attributes which can be assessed directly are called the quality factor these attributes are external attributes the attributes at this level are given more importance by user and manager so we call it as the quality factor then comes the quality criteria means the low level or secondary second level quality attributes that can be assessed either subjectively or objectively are called the quality criteria means hame kaun se factors इन्फ्लुएंस करेंगे और कौन से क्राइटेरिया को हमें अचीव करना है सो दीज टू थिंग्स वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो देर कैन बी डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर द सेम सो वी कैन गिव और एक्सप्लेन इट विद एग्जाम्पल सो यूजिलिटी क्वालिटी फैक्टर इज डिवाइडेड इन टू ऑपरेशनल ट्रेनिंग एंड communication then input output volume and input output rate so this model classifies all software requirement into 11 software quality factors the 11 factors are organized into three product quality factors that is the product operation product revision and product transition now for each one we can now define as a product operation include five software quality factors like correctness efficiency integrity reliability and usability to so, in sab ke bare mein aapko likhna bhi hai aur explain bhi karna hai ki what is mean by correctness the extent to which software meet its requirements that is correctness matlab hum jis agar hamara koi weather prediction ka system hai so whether if that system is able to predict the weather then that is correctness efficiency means the number of hardware resources and code the software needs to perform a function if it is efficient in performing that function then we say the system is efficient integrate mean integrity means are we able to um allow authorized access and we are able to prevent the unauthorized access reliability means the extent to which software perform its intended functions and usability means whether the software is usable for the people or not now the next question is differentiate between product versus process quality management so product and process quality we can define using various terms like a good process is usually required to produce a good product agar hamara process correct hai to definitely our end product will also be good so iso ne iske liye standard specify kiye hai iso says ki if we want to develop a good product then we have to first look into our process and we have to identify whether we are developing the product with a good process or not and the process should have the quality then only the final product will have the quality so we have to focus on manufactured good process is the principal quality deterrent then for design based activity other factors can also be involved like the capability of the designers so iso 9001 is one of the family of standards that specify the characteristics of a good quality management system and it can be applied to the creation of any type of product or service not just it and software we can apply to any kind of product and does not set universal product slash service standard and does specify the way in which standards are established and monitored so basically the iso standard hai iso 9001 standard hai it specifies that every process which is used to design the end product should have the quality and we can have various standards with which we can measure whether we have achieved those quality factors or not now next question is why are projects not closed properly so there are various reasons sometimes it happen that in the organization the projects are not closed properly why because of lack of interest by the project team then under estimation of how fast know how 
or um, we are not able to create interest in the people then the emotional factors means we are having other projects to take care of and because of which the existing project is being mismanaged and we are not able to complete it on time then when multiple department heads are involved then also claiming ownership of the process becomes difficult then indecision regarding the project closure so this is also a reason matlab humne koi particular uh, strategy nahi banayi ki at what point of time we should close this project and we should start with a new project so we have to explain all these in detail now next question is explain briefly the steps involved in conducting a post implementation project review so what are the steps first conduct a project survey then collect objective information then hold a debriefing meeting means we have to have a meeting where we have to think that yes what things are already implemented and what is remaining and then prepare a post implementation review report and then we need to publish that report so all these points we have to explain in the post implementation review that means agar hamara project complete ho jata hai successfully so after completion we can have a review meeting and we can identify that what are the learnings from this project what went well or what didn't work whether the project has become over budget or is it under budget whatever factors related to the project we have to discuss in the post implementation review so with this we have completed all the six question you will get this pdf in the description for your reference so kindly follow my channel thank you